Hey everybody, it's Red Painted Gamer here for another exciting episode. Let's play The Binding of Isaac, The Path of Platinum. In the last episode, we lost real bad. Um, we got crazy with the Cheese Whiz, and the Cheese Whiz wasn't enough for us to go on. Uh, we got a really good item, but an item I'm not really good with, so ultimately it didn't work out too well. Sorry, Dad. We got two keys. Alright. That's good, I guess. If this was like Basement XL, that'd be great. I kind of would rather have bombs, actually, but that's fine. Our key problems are over. So we're in the cellar, part one. Still trying to get Dark Boy, Lord of the Pit. And the Forget Me Now. Ironic, isn't it, that I always forget the Forget Me Now? Hilariously ironic, I should say. I so badly want fucking Platinum God. You don't even know. You don't even know. I don't like you, little Chad. I like Rainbow Baby, though. Why the fuck not? Uh, Bloody Penny's good, too. We'll probably be able to get items from Blood Banks every time now. In theory. Anyway. That was a very good bomb drop. Uh, rock? No. That's fine. Small rock, not just any rock. I would hate to, hate to make uh, the rock, other rocks feel important when they're not nearly as important to me as the small rock. But you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, spirit hearts. I, I do enjoy myself some spirit hearts. But we're going to try to be very good at this game right now, because that's what I want. I want to succeed at everything I've ever dreamed of. I want to impress women with my Binding of Isaac playing. You know, some women love Binding of Isaac. Why wouldn't they? It's a really good game. So, yeah, you heard it here first. Oh. Oops. Let's go fight the boss. It's Pid. Pin, not Pid. I wish it was Pid, because that was a really good game. Even though other people didn't think so. I thought it was great. I really, really liked Pid. Was it Pid? Or was it Pin? It was Pid. This is Pin. God dang. Uh, Pid, though, was a good game. And it makes me real sad that people didn't like it. Shame on you. They got a new game coming out, though. Uh, and I cannot remember what it's called right now. But it does look real cool. Don't want that. I'll take Jesus Juice. Sure, why not? My range is going to be super good now. Good in air quotes. I mean, it will be good, but I don't give a shit. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? Health upgrade. We're kind of building a base here. Not the best Isaac character right now. You know, not quite, you know, mom's knife. Brimstone. But we can't all have mom's knife brimstone, now can we? No, we can't. I really want blood banks, though. I want all the blood banks. And, you know, getting health is always good, too, because potential deals with the devil could come up later. And then we can get the good items. Maybe. Hopefully. I really hope so. Catacombs. Catacombs. I thought we had Mom's Knife for a minute there. I mean, I didn't actually think we had it, but, like, my, the way I was playing the game, I, I was holding down the arrow key and then I let go of it as if I was going to protrude a knife out of Isaac. That's not how it goes though when you don't have it. Gotta find our item room now, especially now that we have a d6 charge. Maybe we'll fight the fallen guys. Yeah, and monkeys might fly out of my butt. If anyone knows the reference, good for you. Proud of you. It's a good movie. I've been watching it in a very long time, and I think a big reason for that is I'm scared to go back and watch. Do you ever have that, like, where there's a movie you liked a lot when you were a kid, and you almost never want to watch it again? Like, you, you see it, and you're like, oh, I loved that movie. But you kind of don't want to watch it, because it's like, oh, man, I don't want to ruin that for myself. That was, like, my favorite movie when I was a kid. Kind of happened to me with We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. I didn't think it was bad, it just definitely was not as good as I thought it was when I was a kid. However, Land Before Time totally holds up. Not even joking. Fuck my life. We're gonna just keep on trucking. Usually I would start these runs over, but I'm not gonna do that. 
I don't want to paint a, a, a lie of a picture of my Isaac ability. Yes, I died in Catacombs Part 1. You probably have died in the Catacombs Part 1 also. And if you've never died in the Catacombs Part 1 before, good for you. I'm real proud of you. Is, is Rebirth here yet? I wish Rebirth was here. I really want to play Rebirth. I'm getting a little, I'll be honest, someone asked me if I was getting tired of Isaac, I'll be honest, a little bit. Um, and it's mostly my fault for being so like gung-ho about trying to get these achievements. Because I don't really view the Let's Play right now as, like, like as just playing Isaac every day. I view it, like, that's the thing. It's not about just playing Isaac every day for me, it's more about trying to, literally, trying just trying to accomplish this. I really, really want to get Platinum God. That's a really good item. I like Magic Mushroom. So yeah, movies, like, back to, you know, my original conversation before I got interrupted by dying. Uh, movies that hold up are, like, the greatest thing ever. Um, a lot of the Disney movies hold up really well. Speaking of which, a Goofy movie holds up very well. Emperor's New Groove, not as well as I'd... I, not as well as I wish. But that's okay. Uh, do not want bump friend. Don't want the item magnet. Anytime I don't take items like that, I always worry that that's gonna like, come back to bite me. Emperor's New Groove doesn't hold up too well. A goofy movie, oh my god, holds up legendarily well. Extraordinary well. Oh my god, I can't talk. Extraordinarily well. I mean, I'm not kidding. I watched it maybe six months ago, and I still found that shit awesome. The songs, man! After today. So much good music in that movie. And it's a, love, it's a story between a loving father and son. What more do you want? You know, I don't get that much attention or love from my father, so that movie was like right up my alley as a kid. I'm not trying to like tell you my sad story, I'm just telling you the truth. I want the small rock. That's alright, you didn't have to give me the small rock. Reroll. Why do they keep trying to give me blood rights, man? I don't want it. Pick it up. Put it down. Get its hopes up. Make it think it's make it thinks make it thinks make it think it's wanted. Speaking of daddy issues. But yeah, a uh, goofy movie holds up real well. I love that movie. I really do. I'm not even kidding. I'm not trying to be ironic, not trying to be a hipster, not trying to be whatever else. I legitimately still enjoy that movie. In fact, uh, a friend of the channel, Deki Nosai, uh, if you don't know him, you should have to check his channel out. He had never seen these movies, and I was like, wow, we're going to watch them right now. So we did a Skype call, like me and a couple other people did a Skype call, and we just, uh, I just, just casted the video, basically. Like, because you, you could screen share in Skype, so I screen shared it with them. I think they watched the whole thing. They better have. I mean, I, I watched it, but I don't know if they were really paying attention or if they were just humoring me. And then an extremely goofy movie. <laughs> what is this? Maybe I should just talk about real life stuff. I, I guess I'll do that from now on. Because someone was asking me, Red Panda Gamer, is this going to replace Animal Crossing as like your daily vlog? Because I mean, Animal Crossing City Folk was basically a daily vlog by the time I was done with it. I don't know. I think there's some people that might get annoyed by that. What is this? Roid Rage? Yeah. Speed and range upgrade sure went out. Look how fucking ugly we are. I feel like some people would get annoyed if I just talk about day-to-day -day stuff. Because it'd be fun. I mean, if I talk about day-to-day -day stuff, I'll, I'll, it'll give me way more to talk about. Because that's a big reason it's hard for me to record these videos and why I, it's so easy for me to just stop recording these videos. Like, it's easy for me to rage quit, quote unquote, a recording because I'm just talking about the game and it's, you know, I don't need to repeat myself unless, you know, the same thing happens, which happens. But if I'm talking about, like, my day and stuff like that, I could just play Binding of Isaac for, like, an hour and just talk about stuff. And that also would probably take a lot of the pressure off, too. I think I might start doing that. Pestilence is a big old pee pee head. Uh, I don't like him. Uh, but it's blue pestilence, which is always cool. Um, I always like mm, champion versions of enemies, bosses, uh, mostly bosses. I, I like champion version of bosses. I want a speed upgrade. No, I don't want a speed upgrade. I want damage upgrades. 
I want... I don't know who I want to fight next. I want to fight, like, Pin. So I can get him confused with Pit again. And talk about how good of a game Pit was. In hopes of convincing you guys to actually buy it. I really wish I could remember what Mind Delight's new game was called. I know that you're playing, like... Not a badger. Some furry woodland creature, and you're playing from their perspective. It looks so good. I really, really want to play it. So, Mind Delight, if you're watching this, please, for the love of God, send me an early build of your game. Uh, sure, Box is always a... Oh, you son of a bitch! You are a rude, rude man. Oh, my fucking God. I hate everything. I god dang hate everything. Everything is terrible. Why didn't I pick up the burnt penny before I picked up the, that money? I could have got bombs. Anyway, yeah, Might and Delight, if you're watching this, please send me a review copy. Or an early build. Speaking of early build review copy, please send me uh, Cellar Door Games. If you're watching this, I really want a copy of Rogue Legacy. You gave me the demo, the press build demo. So give me a little bit of that stimmy. I love Arrested Development. Maybe, by the way, for those of you who are probably wondering, is sleeping on my mouse pad right now, right next to me. She's getting kind of mad at me because I haven't gone to bed yet. The bean is a piece of shit. I don't want the Book of Shadows either, to be honest. I don't really like the Book of Shadows. I mean, it can have a couple decent uses, but... Eh. But anyway, enough talking about the game. Uh, let's talk about what's really important. Extremely goofy movie. It's it's not, obviously it's not as good. You know, like that could just be said right away. It, you know, it's got the whole skateboarding extreme sports thing going on, which is always a little annoying. Like it's a little awkward to watch, especially as someone who did skateboard for like seven years or eight years, I don't know. As someone who skateboarded for a really long time, ah, uh, that was shitty. It's always a little awkward to watch things like totally radical, you know what I mean? Just like really cheesy. Like, what these people perceive as, uh, extreme sports to be, just from, like, watching commercials that are on during the X Games <laughs> in 1995. But it's still really enjoyable. You know, Goofy gets a lady friend, uh, librarian, I believe it was, which is pretty sexy. Max is, you know, being angsty as always. It's enjoyable, man. Actually, Goofy gets fired, I think he gets fired from his job because he doesn't have a college degree. His, like, factory job, though? So it's like they were just looking for an excuse to fire him. <laughs> Fuck. Th Corporations, man. They'll get you. The Goofy... I, I don't know. I, the... There's so many Disney movies out there that keep it so real. I appreciate it. Plus, the Goof Troop theme song was really good. Like father... Like son, always on the run. There's buddies, there's pals. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember that part. Now I'm in time, we never stop. I, yeah. Cause goof troop, and we always stick together. Best of friends forever. It's a good song, you know? And it's, it's heartwarming. It's a heartworking, it's a heartbreaking work of staggering genius. Uh, which is probably the only book I've read all the way through in, like, three years. But it's a really, really good book. Spike- SHIT! I didn't mean to pick that up! You- Oh my god, I didn't mean to open that door. Uh, everything is ruined. I'm ruined. My career is ruined. I should not have talked about life in this episode. We're one cent short of our goals, guys. All of our hopes and dreams may come to fruition. But probably not. And, and our hopes and dreams, by the way, are getting the map. Also, I should have picked up every single spacebar item that I re-rolled to. But I'm being really stubborn about it. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, Disney. Of course I'm talking... I'm the worst type of person. I'm talking about 90s Disney stuff. 90s, early 2000s. I hate when people exclaim themselves as, I'm a 90s kid, or only 90s kids get it. And then you look up the date of whatever it is they're fucking talking about. It's like, this is from 2005. Or 2000, I shouldn't say 2002. Oh, I just came. 
in my pants. Not really. But I am happy. Which sometimes that can result in a little bit of a little bit of squirt. Sure. We've got full on defense now, which is always good. Can I just mention because uh, I didn't that we're in the caves. Which is nice. It's a nice change of scenery. I'm really upset that we don't have 15 cents. Maybe Gertie will give us some money. Gertie, can I borrow some money? Actually, this is the form of Gertie that only makes enemies. Uh, that's something I'm very happy about. Fuck off. Flies. Um, but I don't think slowing her down actually makes her make less enemies. And I'm really upset that we got that tears downgrade. Have I mentioned how upset I am that we got that tears downgrade? I'm very upset. Uh, I always hate doing this fight. Because I always do it like this. And it always ends up fucking me in the booty. Always. There we go. That is pretty pro. As long as doesn't, and one of those flies doesn't come over here, we're good. Oh. Send a bomb over there. Taking care of business every day. There we go. That's pretty good. Now we gotta take out all these assholes. Ah! Which should be pretty easy. I'm trying to remember all of the Disney uh, cartoon shows now. I mean, there were ones that were based. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What a punch in the dick. Not even a good item. Uh, let's see. Tailspin. Which I think was based off the Jungle Book? Yeah, wasn't it? Like, because Mowgli was a fucking pilot? Not Mowgli. Uh, oh my god, what was his name? I never really liked Jungle Book as a kid, so... What the fuck was his name? The bear. Baloo? Was it Baloo? Baloo the bear? That sounds right. When I say it, though, all I can think of is Welcome to the Big Blue House. Which I never watched, because I, I was too old for that. Way too old for that. But I, I had a younger sister who I think watched it right towards the end of her childhood. Not childhood. Uh, what? I'm trying to think of a... In... in? I don't know. She was at that phase where, you know, you start to watch Jersey Shore instead of the Teletubbies. But you still watch a little bit of both of them. You know what I'm saying. Also, I just, I was wondering why we're getting so many damn bombs, but I remember now that we had the uh, Burnt Penny. That was a joke, by the way. I know you don't go from watching Teletubbies to watching Jersey Shore. That's highly irresponsible. <laughs> I am in rare form. I'm just grumpy because, you know, I got mom's knife and fucked it all up. Just like in real life. We have a pretty good amount of health, though, which is good. Uh, okay. Thanks for giving me 15 cents now and it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not gonna go to the shop because I'm pretty sure it's always greed on Catacombs 2. Or Caves 2. But that's just what my intuition, aka commenters, tell me. We need damage upgrades. Stat. Uh, you know what? Just give me Sacred Tears and we'll call it even. Because I don't want Sacred Tears because I'd managed to fuck up everything, even with that. We could get the Fallen again, which would be very cool. Because I like fighting the Fallen. And I like getting the items that the Fallen drops. I like picking up what they put down, if you will. There we go. Uh, we will definitely trade one bomb for two bombs. Capitalism. Probably. No. It's not capitalism. Don't put that down in your uh, e-contest. Econ was an easy class, but... Oh, wait, we were... Uh, I totally forgot. We were talking about Disney show shows. Oh, God. You're about to be white all over. Even more so. Uh, so I remember Tailspin. Tailspin. Uh, DuckTales, obviously, which I fucking love DuckTales. I actually own three seasons of it, which, actually, I think that's all of it. 
They recently re-released all the um, on DVD, and I bought all that shit for like thirty-five dollars or something. It was absurd. Uh, Ducktales, Tailspin. Why didn't we get a deal with the devil? I did very well on this floor. There is no way in hell we're gonna be able to beat the depths <laughs> without taking damage. But hey, you know, crazier things have happened. Probably. Bonkers? Was Bonkers a Disney Channel cartoon? I remember Bonkers. He was like an orange cat. There was a police officer. No, he wasn't a Bob. He wasn't a cat. Was he a Bobcat? Or was that just Bubsy? Also, fuck Bubsy. Bubsy, 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 Bobcat. I don't remember. But that Bonkers. Yeah, what's his name? But I don't remember what it was on. Fucking god, we were getting so much useless shit. Uh, Darkwing Duck, which also had an amazing theme song. Darkwing Duck? When there's trouble, you call DW. <laughs> so good. Uh, why am I being nostalgic? God, I'm so sorry. There's gonna be people who absolutely hate this. The worst thing about people being nostalgic, like, what the, the only thing worse than people being nostalgic is people being nostalgic to people who probably don't even get the references. And if you're those people, I apologize that you grew up in such a shitty generation of television. You have, like, three good shows, cartoon shows. Regular show, Adventure Time. Ugh, I don't think I could say Spongebob. Because it's been really shitty lately. Yeah, honestly, probably Regular Show and Adventure Time, and that's about it. Like, you, you have cartoon shows that aren't even intended for you. Like, those shows are all intended for, like, my age. Which is kind of sad. Um, adventure shows. Uh, adventure show. Regular time. Uh, regular show and adventure time are very good, though. But anyway, Darkwing Duck, which was pretty good. Uh, I don't remember the plot, but I know it was connected to DuckTales because Launchpad McQuack was in both of them. Also, I'm very excited, as most people are, for the... Oh my god, I love this game sometimes. Not very often, though. Uh, anyway, we'll come back for that after we do the boss trap room. Uh, so yeah, Darkwing Duck. Shit. What else was there? Goof Troop. Eh, cool. Jungle Book. Was, no, Jungle Book was Tailspin. Well, kind of. Jungle Tailspin was a fucking weird Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Oh my god, I loved Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Ch -ch 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 Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I haven't. That's a show. Because most of these shows I've revisited, I don't even remember the last time I saw Chippendale Rescue Rangers. By the way, Stem Cell, I, I will always take a health upgrade uh, from a boss trap room. I absolutely. Love boss trap rooms. If you want to get good at Binding of Isaac, first thing you need to do is figure out how you're going to get into that boss trap room, because they are so good to you. Oh, man. You just got to take advantage of everything that the game gives you. Oh, my God. I cannot think of anything else. Hercules, the animated series, that was, I'm pretty sure, all him when he was younger, and I never personally liked it that much. Because, like, I hated young Spazzy Hercules. He was annoying as shit. Uh, there was an Aladdin cartoon, which I did watch, but I was always... Even, like, when I was a kid, I was like, these aren't the same voice actors. What the... What's wrong with Genie? Genie! I wish... Just... God damn it! For your freedom. I should have just taken Attack Fly. Attack Fly is a totally good item. There's nothing to be ashamed of when taking... That item. That item. Uh, fuck, I can't think of anything else. You know, it's funny. It's, there really weren't any uh, Disney, like, there weren't really any Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, like the normal like character TV shows. Oh, that was so close. There was like Mickey's House of Mouse that I was too old for. That was like, I'm pretty sure more for kids. 
temperance. Yeah, there was like nothing that was just like the actual Disney characters, which was kind of weird. Uh, but you had like Scrooge McDuck. You had all these like spin-off characters with their own shows, which I'm totally cool with. We took damage, by the way, which, fuck, I'm not surprised. I had this thought, like, what if we actually got Dark Boy just during me being nostalgic and stupid and annoying without really that good of items? We got pretty good items. I'm, I'm not going to, you know, say we're terrible right now. Damn it. Oh, cool, we still hit it. Um, but I, I'm, I apologize. I'm, I'm not trying to get nostalgic. I'm literally just trying to have a conversation, I guess. Um, and I'm always kind of curious as to what the age group of my audience is. I mean, I know there's analytics, but those are kind of inaccurate, and people lie about their age, and, you know. I don't even know. Does does YouTube monitor how old you are? At the, like, I signed up for YouTube when I was 18? Like, this YouTube channel, Red Panda Gamer. No. October of 2011? So I would have been... That was, what, two years ago? Before my birthday, though. 18? 19 years old? But I've been on YouTube for three years now. Give or take. And so does it... Is it adjusted how old I am? That'd be a little creepy. I have no idea. I also have no idea why I care. That was beautiful. Beauteous Maximus. I love everything. Uh, but I've been watching, actually, like, something that I can't even be nostalgic for because, you know, I'm not that old. But I was watching... I collect these Disney DVDs. Like I said, I really like Disney, even though he was a Nazi. Um, I even like the dude Walt Disney, even though I think his ideals were a little fucked up. I have, in 2005 or 6, they released these DVDs uh, called the Disney Treasures. And it was a collection of, like, the Mickey Mouse cartoons, uh, the black and white Mickey Mouse cartoons, the color Mickey Mouse cartoons, the Pluto cartoon, like, everything, basically. And then, like, the episodes of uh, Disneyland, which, if you don't know what Disneyland is, it was a TV show uh, between ABC... This is back when there were only three networks. Yeah, ABC. And they would basically just broadcast. Like, it would be basically Disney doing whatever they wanted for the most part. Um, but, like, they did a, their live opening of, like, the parks on uh, TV and stuff like that. Ronald Reagan hosted it, by the way, which is weird. I feel like I'm making a terrible episode right now, and I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> Anyway, it was basically just like a variety hour that Walt Disney could just do whatever he wanted. And one of my favorite... I, I own... So basically they released uh, a shit ton of these Disney treasures. They have like tin cases and they're like disc... Like uh, multiple discs. And Leonard Maltin, one of my favorite movie critics, does uh, introductions to everything and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I just realized this is a Death's XL. This would have been such an easy floor to be able to accomplish this. Let's use Temperance. Anyway, these are really rare DVDs that some of which go for like hundreds of dollars on eBay. And I have a couple of them. None none that are really worth that much. That was really good. Um, but I have them, which is cool. And my favorite one is Tomorrowland. And that one is amazing. It's basically them talking about space travel and outer space and stuff like that. And they were like, this is back in the 50s, I want to say. And they were so ahead of their time. Like, they literally, like, Walt Disney hired scientists and stuff like that to come talk on his show. And they did, like, all these artist animation, like, these little animations of space and stuff like that. Oh, so cool. It's, like, my favorite DVD that I own. When you get big into, like, movies and collecting, you know, you kind of have your favorites. But with, you know, digital media, it's kind of difficult to get into. Like, what's your favorite Steam game? I mean, like, what Steam game are you so happy to, that you found? Like, well, I guess you could kind of have that because there's such a big library. But most of the time, really good games don't go unnoticed. 
Which goes into the underrated d debate, which I totally don't want to get into, because... In my opinion, the way, the way the internet is, if there's an underrated game, it will be found because of the internet. So underrated games are impossible now. Underrated's become more of an opinion than a fact. And then you also have critics underrating it, or you have players underrating it and not buying it. Like Psychonauts, I guess, was Psychonauts underrated because no one bought it, but critics all said it was the, like, the most amazing game. I don't fucking know. Tears upgrade? Awesome. But was Psychonauts? I don't know. I don't know. This is a big ass floor. I don't like it. Ah, uh, kill it. I'm I'm kind of starting to fall apart, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. It's 5 a.m. I'm real tired. But yeah, I, I, I do want to apologize that I've been talking about so much random bullshit. Um, but if you like that, then I'll probably start doing that. And if I do start doing that, I will be recording way more Isaac videos. So... Just let me know in the comments below, I guess. If you've made it this far, comment down below. Because, I mean, seriously, if you're really looking for legitimate Isaac play, why are you here? I'm obviously not that good. I haven't even gotten Golden God yet, or Platinum God. Which I still don't know the difference. Is there a difference? I don't know. Is there? I mean, I thought Golden God was the achievement um, before Wrath of the Lamb expansion. And then after Wrath of the Lamb, they put Platinum God. But both of the achievements say the same thing. They both say 100% completion of the game. How can I 100% complete the game twice? Do I have to delete my save? I hope not, because that would be stressful. I don't think I could do that. Part of me feels like I won't be able to play this game after I get Platinum God. Like, I, I mentioned that I would do challenge runs and stuff like that, but I honestly don't know if I'll want to. Maybe I'll do live stream challenge runs. I don't know. I just... It's very difficult to still find motivation to play this game sometimes. And that's not your guys' fault. It's just the nature of playing a game for 200 hours. Great. Sign me up for Polyphemus. Cause girl, that's a good item. Um Let's go fight the first boss. Gish! Oh my god, I jumped right into that shit. I'm the world's worst. I didn't really jump into it. There's really no jumping in Isaac. I hope they add the Rock's Feather and Isaac Rebirth. I keep slowing him down, and it's really hard to see where his shadow is when he's in the air when he's over his own creep. There we go. So easy. <laughs> Too easy. Piece of cake. Eh. Sanic. Alright, uh, we're going to... I guess explore the rest of the area, go get those hearts. Oh, as, as much as I would like to stop playing, because I'm exhausted, we're not going to do that. So you guys play that, uh, that The Last of Us game all the kids are talking about? It's pretty cool. I'm getting a little sick of it, though. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm about two hours away from being finished with it. Approximately. It's alright. I have like a video planned, like, it's not a review, because I don't want to do a review of it, because like, who gives a shit about reviews of The Last of Us, when everyone's saying it's the greatest game ever made, well not everyone, Phil Kohler, um, probably wrote my favorite review on the game. Like even Adam Sessler, who's a dude I respect and a lot, was just, I don't know, I just, I don't get it. I want zombies to go away forever. But they're not zombies. They're clickers. They're mushroom people. Stupid. 
dumb. There we go. It just, it's, the game gets exhausting and infuriating, and I don't think it's that, oh my god. Just drop a bomb. There we go. Multiplayer gets really annoying. Like, the community is filled with giant asshole scumbags. You know, I realize it, because I don't play a lot of online multiplayer anymore, unless it's, like, with my friends, or with my subscribers, or if it's just, you know, Spy Party. But, like, oh, Spy Party, by the way, has the greatest community ever. You should definitely sign up for the beta. Please. Spy Party. Fucking God damn it! Alright. That was bound to happen. I was not paying enough attention. I apologize for this episode. I'm the world's biggest asshole. Uh, but guys, thanks so much for sticking with me if you did stay and watch the whole thing. Uh, I'm Rip Panda Gamer. Like this video, favorite this video, comment so you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do forget to share your love. I'm Rip Panda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.